Hi YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. We've got another servo in, so dropped off by uh, one of the fans of the channel, so thanks a lot, you know who you are. Uh, this one is a 71 kilogram 9i mod, so very excited to try this one. Um, when we're getting up to like the 60 odd 70 kilogram mark, you're pretty much looking at the real high end servos. If you go down the AGFRC route or any of the derivatives, there's many. <laughs> um, you're looking probably well over a hundred pound, maybe pushing the two hundred pound mark for a seventy odd kilogram servo, um, brushless as well. So this is brushless, waterproof, seventy one kilograms. Your max speed's meant to be zero point one um, over sixty degrees at uh, eight point four volt. So it can run six, seven point four, eight point four volt, or seven point two, eight point four. Um, as you'll see with BEC, it's a hobby wing, genuine hobby wing BEC. Um, battery's fully charged to give it its best shot, but the BEC is not fantastic. Um, it can deliver up to 20 amp max, but mm, yeah, you'll have to make your minds up whether the hobby wing UBEC is a great one or not. I don't want to swap it out though, because then it invalidates all my other servo tests for if you want to compare them. Um, but it is what it is. So. Less waffling, let's bring him for a close-up look and uh, see how we get on with this one. Right, so, first things first, we're going to try it at 6 volt or as close as this BEC can muster. I have checked the battery I'm running it off that is charged, so at least we can get some sort of idea of uh, what power we're getting out of this. Uh, resting, we're drawing 0 0.1 of an amp and we're at almost 6 volt, so at least these two are agreeing. So, let's... Uh, Give it a try and uh, see what uh, what sort of power we get out of this thing. Now I must admit, for five point nine volt, and if we look. Mm, we're dropping down to like 5.2, 5.3 volt. We are pulling nearly 8 amp at that. But let's have a look, see if we can get an average. So we're getting an average of a 10 pulls of 52.4 kilograms. The servo at that is stone cold. So yeah, quite impressed with that. So let's take it off the average. Let's reset. And let's pop up our voltage. So we're now jumping up to 7.34 volt. Or as close as damn it. <laughs> 7.2. It is what it is. I'm I'm uh, I'm doing my best with what I've got here. But let's see what we pull at this. So we've got an average of 64.7 kilograms of torque and we're at 7.2 volt at rest. If we put it under load, we're dragging almost 10 amp and we drop down to 6.6 .6 volt. Still no heat buildup, which I'm really impressed about. Um, bearing in mind, this is less than 50 quid delivered. That is an impressive servo. We're not getting the maximum voltage and we're still peaking at well over 60 kilograms. Now, at this point is where I start asking myself, would you actually notice on an RC when you start getting much above this sort of 60 kilogram mark? You're kind of quite high up here anyway. But let's give it a try and uh, see what we get at 8.24 volts or 8.1 so let's go and see what we get so we're not getting 8.4 volt if we put it under load 
we're dropping down to just over seven and a half volt. So we're almost one volt down, we're hitting 10 amp. So this BEC is a 10 amp um, constant, 20 amp max. We shouldn't be getting this much voltage drop, but unfortunately it's all it can muster. We're getting slightly warm now on the servo, but only ever so slightly. And bearing in mind, under normal use, you are not going to lock it up solid all them times in a row or hold it to get a peak draw. But to say we are getting 68.9, so almost 69 kilograms, it's only advertised as a 71. And we're averaging 68.9. There is no doubt in my mind, if we could feed it 8.4 volt, we would definitely get that extra 2 kilograms of torque. Really, you get into this sort of price, like 50 quid servo, hitting these sort of figures. Yeah, I'm massively impressed with this. So if we power this off. Bearing in mind, I have tested much more pricey servos. Um... Pretty much the only one that would stand out to me is the AGFRC. Um, when they claimed a 75 kilogram, I think it actually pulled 76. But yeah, um, you're talking almost a couple of hundred pounds for that. You could pretty much have four of these servos for that price. This is the pink coloured servo. You can get it all in black. I think most of the places advertise it all in black. It is advertised as brushless. We do have quite a nice design on top. It's quite easy to get to the gears as well. We've got two extra screws here. It is extra bearing. Does say 71 kilogram. And for an average of 68.9, I don't, I don't doubt at all that it can, uh, given the correct voltage, I don't doubt that it would hit the actual mark. And I'm just going to whip these screws out for you, just so we can have a quick look. And see what the sort of interior is like. If we've got any uh, seals or anything. Up to now, my experience with 9i mods. I have completely abused some really cheap 20 odd pound 9i mods. In uh, the Tamiya touring car class. And beat the hell out of them on a the track. Yet to have one failed. They've all remained really quick steering and everything. So if we just take the bottom off. We have got a rubber seal. We have got it covered in captain tape. We've got nice soldering and we do have the FETs and the three points for running the brushless setup. So don't doubt for one minute that it's definitely brushless and it has got some kind of waterproofing, which I'm happy to see. We do have these screw designs that go all the way through to the top. So to get to the gear in, I think you're probably going to have to drop all four of these out and the two extra on the top. So I'll get this screwed back together and uh, then we can carry on and I'll show you the speed we're getting out of it. So we got it screwed back together. In the actual packaging for this, we do get a nice servo top. We get the anti-vibration mounts. And in this particular one, we do get quite a nice alloy servo arm as well. I'm looking through this, I'm seeing at least two or three. Now I think we've got two screws at least that'll uh, that can hold this on. So let's just drop it into place for you. So if we power it up. So that's the sort of speed you can expect at 8.4 volt. And if we drop it down. So if we drop to 7.4 volt, and then we can go to 6 volt. So yeah, I think most of you are going to run it 8.4. That's not a slow servo. Certainly for rock crawling, which this is probably aimed at, absolutely perfectly fine. But yeah, that is uh, quite a nice looking servo. Um, I like the design of it. I like the performance of it. And for less than 50 quid delivered, that's a cracking servo. 
Um, it wasn't that long back when you were getting sort of 35 kilograms for that sort of money. And at 0.1 speed at 8.4 volt over 60 degrees, it's not like you're giving up a whole lot of speed either. You're not going to have a crawler that, uh, that crawls to steer. So yeah, big shout out to Ed for dropping this one off. Thanks again, guy, for uh, letting us torture your new shiny servo. It's much appreciated, and I'm sure lots of people that watch these vids also appreciate your uh, potential sacrifice too. But I can say this is a really, really nice servo. I would definitely highly recommend it. Um, and I'm not seeing any drawbacks to it. It's not excessively large for a 70-odd kilogram. I mean, this is a 46, and it's ever so slightly longer than that, but I don't think it's going to uh, be a problem fitting it in anything. And let's have a look. So you've got, what, probably 42 millimeters from absolute top to bottom. Width-wise, it's looking about 40. And then if we go across that, you've got 20. So, yeah, not really bad at all. If we look how far it actually sticks up on top. So we've got about 11 or 12 mil at most, right to the ridge. So, yeah. Don't see any issues with fitment on any of the uh, crawlers or anything. And absolute cracking little servo. So let's wrap this one on. So there we have it. 9i mod hitting it out the park again. Yes, we didn't see the 71 kilograms advertised, but the BEC's down on voltage anyway. And I've no doubt if you feed this with enough voltage and enough amps to feed it, you're going to see that 71. Um, but ultimately, we got an average of 68.9, almost 69 over 10 pulls, one after other. It didn't seem to back down. Um, no excessive heat buildup. And uh, not sure if you noticed how quiet this was. Now, especially in rock crawling, when you stood quite close to the vehicle, a lot of people don't need to run fans for cooling. You don't really want a, um, let's say, a Savox <coughs> screaming at you constantly. So, yeah. Probably a good pick. As always, I'll leave description in link below. But thanks again, Fred, for dropping this one off. Thanks again for you guys for watching. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Share to friends and family. And uh, catch you guys again in the next one.